Louise asked me to, to read a, a Bible passage. I got it right this time. It's 1 Corinthians 13, 4 8. And it reads Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails, but when there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, they will be passed away. Wise men say Only fools that the boy who asked me out in high school would one day become my future husband. Although 2014 seems like yesterday, it is incredible to reflect on the numerous memories we have made and the outstanding accomplishments that have led us to this very day. In a matter of 10 years, we have explored the world, met wonderful people, and created a bond that will last a lifetime. A memory that will stick with me forever was the first time I said I love you. We were sitting in your scion at Brewster's right across from Wharton. I had only known what love felt like from my family, but after spending time with you, I knew my feelings were more than just a simple boyfriend-girlfriend crush. You made me feel safe, always knew how to put a smile on my face, and prioritized our time together. I was beyond nervous to say those three words, but once I said it, I had this feeling of joy and hope for the future. Fast forward to 2022, I had just graduated with my master's, and this was our fifth year in Tallahassee. Standing at the Westcott Fountain, thinking we were simply taking graduation photos, I was overwhelmed with emotion when I saw you kneeling there, holding the most beautiful ring. Everything went silent. A flash of all our memories and moments together crossed my mind, and I knew you were the person I wanted to wake up to every morning. Not a day goes by where I don't thank God for putting you in my life. I also thank God for making you an amazing cook, <laughs> a comedian, and a po personal chauffeur. <laughs> you are a remarkable person who has grown and flourished over these past 10 years. Choosing to commit the rest of my life to you is the easiest thing I will ever do. As we move forward as husband and wife, I vow to be faithful, supportive, and honest. I promise to spend every day I have left on this planet looking after you, encouraging you, laughing with you, and comforting you. I love you with all my heart forever and always.
David, please read your uh, vow to Louise. Louise, words seem to fail me when I try to express how much your friendship means. We share a connection so deep that a thousand expressions wouldn't be enough. You've opened my heart to a whole new spectrum of emotions I never knew existed. You're not just my partner, you became my desire, a longing for a connection that blossomed into a treasure that I hold dear. Over the years, our bond has been like a capturing work of art. I've marveled at the divine intricacies of your personality, each facet a stroke of brilliance that makes you who you are. You inspire me to be a better person, your compassion, your understanding serving as guiding lights. You are someone I cherish and fiercely protect. My love for you knows no bounds, and I vow to spend the rest of our lives together creating new adventures and memories that will fill our hearts with joy. Thank you, Louise, for giving your all to this relationship. It's a gift I treasure more than words can say. Your unwavering support inspires me to return that love tenfold. I love you, Louise, forever and always. David, as you place the ring on Louise's finger, repeat these words after me. The ring symbolizes my love for you. The ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments. And the commitments. We make today and every day. We make today and every day. Louise, as you place the ring on David's finger, repeat the words after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we make today. And the commitments we make today. And every day. And every day. David, from this day forward, do you choose Louise to be your wife, your best friend, your only love? Do you choose to live together, to laugh together, to work by her side? Do you choose to fill her heart and feed her soul, to always seek out the best in her, to protect her, always loving her with all your heart until the end of your forever? If so, please say, I do. I do. Louise, from this day forward, do you choose David to be your husband, your best friend, your only love? Do you choose to live together, to laugh together, to work by his side? Do you choose to fill his heart and feed his soul? To always seek out the best in him, to protect him, always loving him with all your heart until the end of your forever? If so, please say, I do. I do. Awesome. David and Louise, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of family and friends, have declared your love and committed to each other and have each given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to be the first to announce and congratulate Mr. and Mrs. David and Louise Rosales. Tell me love how you put it on 
Got the only key, know how to turn it on like The way you never lie, my ear, the only words I wanna hear Baby, take it slow so we can last long Tú, tú eres el imán y yo soy el metal Me voy acercando y voy armando el plan Solo con pensarlo se acelera el pulso Oh yeah, ya, ya me está gustando más de lo normal Todos mis sentidos van pidiendo más Esto hay que tomarlo sin ningún apuro Despacito Quiero respirar tu cuello despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te pierdas si no estás conmigo Despacito Quiero desnudarte a besos despacito Firmo en las paredes de tu laberinto Y hacer de tu cuerpo todo un manuscrito Cosas al oído 